Hello there. Would you believe it? Another house renovation video. Bet you're sick of these, unless you're not sick of these. It's two camps, really, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to show you what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, I think things are going to be pretty fast moving. I've painted two rooms. Let me show you them now. So this is the box room, okay? This is going to be the office. I have painted this a grey colour. It's kind of more bluish grey than it's showing up in these pictures. Um, I've painted this a colour called Pebble Shore. That looks quite realistic on my phone. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the finish. This is Dulux One Coat Paint, which means that, as the name suggests, you only have to do one coat, which makes life a little bit easier. You have to put it on quite thickly in places, but the coverage is fantastic. If I hadn't used one coat paint, I would have definitely had to do more than one uh, coat. I'll leave a link to the Dulux paint down below in case you want to check it out for yourself. I had to do a lot of repair in these rooms. There were cracks running all the way along and up and in the corners down the side of the plasterboard and stuff. I made the cracks wider, filled them with, um, not plaster, filler, and then sanded them using a sanding block. That is the key bit that really makes the finish fantastic. And to be honest, I mean, if I look really carefully, I can see where they were, but I'm just really super happy with the finish. Um, of course, being a perfectionist, there were a few things I had to go back and do, like I accidentally painted onto the cornice, so I had to go back and fix that. I've noticed that there's a small patch here where the coverage isn't great, but I've tried that, I've made that mistake in the past. If you go and add a little bit of paint to that now, it will show up worse than if you just leave it like that. So, um, what else? Oh yeah, something else in this room. I, I think, by the way, these pictures are really starting to pop now with the sort of black uh, border on them, frame on them. I think they look really cool. Really making me feel like the place is gonna look lovely when it's been painted, uh, which is what I hoped for. So I've also painted the ceiling, pure brilliant white, again in one coat, and replaced the energy saving bulbs with these wonderful, uh, better energy saving LED bulbs. Uh, I've changed a few of the plug sockets. I bit the bullet and did it myself. I did the light switch as well, another light fitting round here. They were really easy to do, to be honest. Um, I just kind of mapped from one, from the old socket to the new one. And they've been pretty straightforward. There's one I had to add an earth wire to because the backing plate was metal and it needed an earth wire from the plug socket back to the backing plate. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay. Don't think I'm gonna electrocute myself yet, but it's quite interesting because if your earth wire isn't correct, connected properly, then essentially you're relying on the fuse in your device. So if you haven't got a fuse in your device and the earth wire isn't connected correctly, you will just get electrocuted and presumably a fire would start. Um, I don't know that much about electrics, but it's been quite an eye opener. I feel like I've done a sort of intensive um, electrician's course. You should really go and get these signed off by, um, by an electrician now, but I'm probably not gonna do that. Another thing in this room is I have taken the carpet up. Now beneath this underlay, there are um, asbestos containing vinyl tiles, which I'm not gonna lift up because they contain asbestos um, and I don't wanna get cancer or asbestosis. So what I'm doing instead is there is a gripper rod around the edge of the room, which does need to come up and that is actually nailed into the asbestos tiles. I do have a proper, I think it's AP3 mask that I'm wearing um, and I'm gonna lift the gripper rods up before I put new underlay down for the laminate flooring that I'm going to put down, which I can show you in a moment. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I'm taking necessary precautions, wearing a mask, damping down the area. I think, arguably, I'm being overcautious. It does just take one fibre to get cancer. Uh, you know, one fibre doesn't mean you have to breathe in one fibre, it just means that you could breathe in a million fibres, but it'll only be one of them that gives you cancer. Um, I think I'll be all right. I think I'm kind of taking extreme precautions and actually I'm not grinding or sanding these tiles, so 
I should be okay. What do you think? Let me know if you think I'm about to suddenly die. That's it basically in this room. Let me just show, have I shown you these um, like LED lights? That doesn't look very good there, does it? Um, never does when you point it directly at the light because it overexposes. You get a better idea of the color on the walls in there. Um, let me tell, show you the other room. So that's one box room that I've painted. I've also painted the, what I consider to be the master bedroom. This, I suppose to you now, probably looks exactly the same, but trust me, this is a color called Nutmeg White. Um, this curtain pole was actually here when I bought the place. It wasn't put together quite properly, so I took it down and uh, fixed it. I think it actually looks all right up there, to be honest. And I think, again, my pictures look okay. Ceiling's really popping against the, popping's my new word, by the way, uh, popping against the walls there. But I've left the carpet down. I've got to, I'll finish the other room before I start doing this one, I think. I think that's probably the safest thing to do. Again, I've done the plug sockets around there. That was the one that had a metal backing plate. No idea why, because none of the others do in this place. Um, and yeah, loving these light fittings. It's just really made it look brand new. I don't think I'd have got a better finish if I'd paid to have the walls plastered. It possibly would have looked a little bit messier. You may remember there were um, marks all along here where there were um, holes with raw plugs in, where there used to be some kind of um, shelf up there. It's all gone now, it's invisible. I can't genuinely see where it was. Do use a sanding block when you are sanding because, oh, whoops, because it just makes a world of difference. This is the mask I'm using to stop myself getting lung cancer. Um, it works really well, it's 20 quid actually, replaceable filters. It's got quite a good test you can do where you hold these two, you hold buttons on the filters and um, you can't breathe, proving that actually uh, you are breathing in through the filters when you let go. So cool bit of kit. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh, this is the laminate flooring that I'm gonna be putting down um, everywhere, everywhere except the bathroom and kitchen. I'll show you those. I bought, I bought quite a lot. Um, I'm panic buying in case they stop selling them or they put the price up because I don't really want to get four fifths of the way into reflooring the place and then they stop manufacturing it. So anyway, I hope you agree that that's looking pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try and get these two rooms done before I move on to the third bedroom. After the third bedroom, I'm then going to do the lounge because I can move all the lounge stuff into the third bedroom. And then finally, I will do the hall. And then very, very finally, I will get round to the bathroom. Let me show you something in the bathroom. Um, the washer is gone on that tap. So I'm having to hold the, um, hold the, whatever you call it, tap handle by taping it to the spout of the other tap. Otherwise it doesn't just drip, it literally just runs. I do need to get a plumber in to sort that out, but I'm not kind of not going to have a bath here for a while, so I'm not. It's not on my rush list. I should get round to contacting my uh, my plumber friend. I've been doing some small things like filling holes. Don't worry, that's not the final hole fill. I will do it properly. I'm just they're the initial um, fills. Look at all this laminate flooring. Look, it's like I'm going to have like seven hundred quid's worth of laminate flooring. Each one of these is 15 kilos. You know, those people that used to like pull Concord and stuff. I feel like one of those. I feel like I've shrunk as well. I've just really, like, I know 15K doesn't sound like a big way. But when, you've, when you're carrying 35 of them, um, it soon wears you out. Trust me. I've also got all the bars and beading for them as well. I'm actually a few short of the... Uh, these laminate boards. I need to go back to Wix to get some more. They're currently on offer for about £19. I managed to damage one of the boards already by taking it out and levering it out. Good job. Better to learn on one than to do it on a load of them and then uh, then realise that I've wasted a load of money. Uh, but yeah, I need to get a few more of these. Um, and it says there are like 50 in stock in my local, um, my local Wix, but 
they haven't put them out and I don't really want to ask because I'm actually putting off carrying them because it's such hard work. Um, yeah, oh, that's quite interesting. Look, look at these wall colours. You see, these are all the various things that Ellie and I are considering. We both got, I mean, I would say we both got, we both got taste, but we've both also got um, a smattering of not taste as well. I haven't told Ellie that, but I think we're both, like I have a tendency to some colours that I then regret, and I think she does as well. But I think the average of our opinion is a pretty good one. Um, we're trying, we're, we're looking at these colours and essentially we don't really like any of them <laughs> at the moment. These are all Dulux once because I'm lazy and I don't want to do more than one coat. We think this one's too blue. This one, believe it or not, which looks green, we thought was going to be a sort of yellowy colour. Really weird, the Dulux colours now. Really look, no, look nothing like they do on the... Um, paint tins or on the charts either this one looks too blue these ones are meant to be this is like sea salt white and white mist or something all the sort of slightly off white things end up just looking blue we've got this one which i, I do quite like but this one was supposed to be sort of yellowy as well it, it looks like a brownie gray and then this is nutmeg white from the other room from the master bedroom so you can see it's just really difficult to judge colours when they're next to each other. We do want a kind of green in the lounge because it's quite modern at the moment. We think that's too dark. That's Tranquil Dawn. Um, we were going to go for that, but I don't think we are. And then there's a sort of whitish colour there, which is maybe what we'll paint this room in. It's quite an inoffensive, um, slightly off-white colour. But I've got a load more samples down there. I'm spending a fortune, you know what it's like. You spend like 10 here, 20 here, you've spent 700 quid. I think I've spent more than that, to be honest. I must have spent over a grand in the last month on what? I'm not entirely sure, some tins of paint. But, you know, you do, don't you? When you, when you first move, um, I haven't even moved yet, have I? But when you first move, you just splurge the cash, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Now, I've done some stuff in the kitchen as well. This is the last um, stuff that I've done since I last spoke to you. I've changed a lot of these plug sockets. Ignore that one. Um, the blanking plate and switches. I think they look pretty, I think they look pretty sexy, to be honest. Um, again, hopefully I've wired them correctly, otherwise I'm going to electrocute myself. This one, so the old plug sockets here were a slightly different shape. And um, so the tiles came down too much. So I had to chip away the tiles. You can guess what happened. Chipped it, smashed it completely. I then bought some, um, what's it called? Grout and tile adhesive. I had a great big uh, pot of it, but I tried to, I was too lazy to get a ladder. And I thought I'll throw it up onto that shelf in there. Um, it fell off and exploded on the floor. So I didn't have any tile and adhesive grout, tile and grout adhesive. So I had to go and buy another pot to try and glue the shards of ceramic back together. And guess what? You can guess what happened. It still was too far down to let the plug socket go in. So all of a sudden I just thought, no, sod this. I'm going to smash this tile off. Hopefully I won't break too many tiles. Going to smash it off, buy another tile, use a proper tile cutter and replace it. So I have left the bottom half. These are all wired in, so I won't touch it too much. I've left the bottom half of this tile on and I I will just grout the boundary between the, that and the tile that I replace it with. Not going to get too obsessed by it. I also cracked a very small amount. I don't know if you can see it, of tile above this. But I did grout that back in and um, I think that looks acceptable. The tiling in this kitchen is acceptable. I wouldn't say it's great. So I don't really, I don't feel too precious about it. And as I've said a few times before, I don't intend for this to be our kitchen forever. So, you know, I want it to look nice. I don't want it to look a mess. But I'm not going to be really precious about chipping off a load of tiles. Why would I do that when, for instance, I don't know if you can see on here, but like there's loads of cracks around this here. I'd have to go around and do them all if I wanted it to look perfect. 
Um, what we are going to do, which I'm quite excited about, only just kind of realised this, we're going to change these handles and we're going to paint all these doors, probably some kind of, I don't know, green, light green. If we find a nice green for the lounge, we might do that. I think it'll bring it up to spec, actually. Um, could have replaced the doors with like shiny modern doors, but yeah, that's very expensive for a kitchen you don't intend to keep. And to be honest, there are so many doors, and if I've shown you so many doors, so many drawers. Oh look, drawer, I mean they're all empty practically because I've got no food to put in them. But uh, it would cost a fortune. I reckon it'd probably cost about a grand to use a bespoke service to get a load of new doors. So let's just damn well paint them and change the handles, clean the grout and change this awful flooring, which incidentally, has a vinyl underneath it, which hopefully doesn't contain frigging asbestos. Ah, oh dear, look at the garden, it's looking nice today, um, even though it's raining. My water butt's finally filled up. Oh, look, there's the old carpet from that room, which I'm gonna leave outside until it can be collected. Um, yeah, my water butt, I accidentally left the valve open and uh, all the water drained out, but I think it's all right now because I opened it yesterday and a wasp fell out and drowned in a pool of dirty water. So, uh, yeah, I don't advocate animal cruelty, but when it comes to wasps, it's kind of fair, isn't it? Anyway, sorry again for a short delay. Um, I will make some tutorial videos soon. I just haven't, because I'm kind of learning as I go along. I mean, I'm not going to make a video on how to remove or how to kind of half acidly take up carpet from on top of asbestos tiles because I don't want any lawsuits when people get ill. Um, but, you know, filling cracks on walls, I think I'm pretty good at it actually, because I can't see the cracks and the cracks um, haven't come back yet, which is great. Um, and maybe when I do the vinyl flooring, uh, laminate flooring, uh, I could do that as well. Just try and be a bit unique in that I'm essentially, well, let's see, I am a rank amateur when it comes to DIY. So maybe my stupid insight will be useful to somebody i don't know anyway thanks for watching uh, thank you to my loyal patrons who are scrolling down the screen now especially george foot magnanimous meg jennifer jones and ross carter who are extremely generous patrons i shall try to see you next week for another video